So, just another really quick video on the latest version of Virtual DJ 2023, which is built 7692 at the time of this recording. And that new feature is that we now have undo and redo in dialog boxes, at least in most of them. And uh, it's probably not even much of a feature because I don't think it's been in any of the release notes. So if you haven't watched this, you probably wouldn't even have noticed that it started working because it's working exactly the same that you would expect, and like, like it works in most other software, which is Control C for undo and Control Y for redo. So if I go into, for instance, a, 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 a button editor here, and I put in something that I want, play, and then I put in some scripts that I don't want, like this, and I press Control Z, C, then only this is, has been left, right? So that's exactly the, like you would expect it to go. The same for redo, Control Y, and you get it back. Not a bit mystery, but then it gets a little quirky because then, if for instance, if I go into something where there's a lot of script already, like this thing, and I mark all of it because I want to do something, and then I start typing a command that I wanted to put in the end, maybe, then oops. It's gone. And I would then expect I could press Control C, but that doesn't do anything. And I think that's because it's already put in something else, something that's been uh, auto-completed. But if you press Control C one more time, then you get the script back. So just notice that when you're in a button editor and you accidentally remove a lot of stuff, some script you want back, you may need to put in Control C twice. So that's just a little heads up on that because it confused me a bit in the beginning. Other places where it works, is for instance when you do some mapping. So here I have my keyboard mapping, and I can go into uh, this for instance, and have some more stuff, and undo it. So just like you would expect. I don't want to save that. And uh, then another place, for instance, is down here in the pad paste editor. So if I go into edit here, and I put in something here, um, like maybe I. Uh, I actually also remove this, like this, and press Control C. Then it doesn't work. It doesn't matter how many times I press it. And that confused me quite a bit. But I think that's because this is actually not gone through yet. It hasn't been stored in any way. Because that only happens once you click another pad. So if I click another pad, and I go back, and I then press Control C, then I get the old script back. So that's another little quirk that you need to know uh, when you end up in these situations that you can use undo, uh, but in a couple of situations you might want to like go back and forth and you might like, want to press Control C twice for it to actually work. So just a couple of little, little things to know. But other than that, it's just like you would expect. So this was just like a real heads, a really short little heads up on that this has now been added, even though it's not in the release notes.